Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a buy or buy of this little washing machine by this brand on the box. We're going to be doing a review of this little beauty blender washing machine. And it came up from Amazon. I will leave the link below. Let's get on with this review. So it came in this box and it just is a picture of the machine, batteries, and here is more battery stuff and that's the things it does. It came with this little wash basket. I think this is to dry it. And then obviously it came with the unit and stickers and the wash basket came in here. Here are also more stickers. Um, I clearly put this sticker right here. Make it look like a little washer. And it also came with this screwdriver to get the battery open so i'm just taking normal water i'm kind of really nervous but just taking normal water and pouring it in i don't really know how much to put in here i guess all of it just gotta wash it i filled it the cup kind of high but just put the water in there can't really show you and we're gonna take this beauty blender because it's really gross okay for this trial i'm just gonna use dial antibacterial hand soap to try to clean it all out i'm gonna put some soap in here I don't know how much soap to put in here. Okay, now we're gonna put the beauty blender in here. I'm kind of worried because like I filled this thing up. Okay, this operation went south really quick. There's a huge mess. So I'm gonna clean that up and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I got it all cleaned up. I don't even know if it was in here long enough to really like do anything. Let me. Oh, I think it did something. I mean, a little bit. I mean, stuff's coming out, but then again, I did just use regular soap, so. Let's see the dirt. I mean, it definitely pulled some dirt out of there. That's gross. Let's try this again with a little less water and a little bit more soap. It's, it's hard because the Beauty Blender gets bigger when you put it in water. How do I put the soap, like, on top? Make sure you keep the hose, like, above. If not, it's all going to leak out. So, like, I think that's why they have this clip here. Okay, there's not enough water in here. This thing is really confusing because it doesn't come with any instructions. So, like, how are you supposed to know what to do? So, it's been spinning for a little bit. And I am kind of ready to see, like, what else is coming out of the Beauty Blender. But I'm going to give it one quick spin. That way, I definitely know that it is clean somewhat i guess i'll push it down a little bit and go okay so let's get this out it's huge obviously because of beauty blenders reacting to water but you guys can see all of that makeup in it it's literally just like squeezing out oh my gosh oh my gosh this is the one that was white and it had pink features I'm gonna wipe the beauty blender to see if i can get any Okay, you guys can't see that because of my lighting. Oh, there you go. That's what came off my beauty blender. I think the rest is like stains, to be quite honest with you. But let's clear out the water and let's dry it. Okay, now we're going to put it in here in the washer component. I feel like it's easier to put the beauty blender with like the sharp bone down. This is supposed to like air dry it all right let's test it out again pretty dry it's definitely damp if i was going to do my foundation this was how i would want my beauty blender it's pretty it's like the perfect like and i feel like it's clean now so i can bounce like you know um i think next i want to try one that's not dirty like as much and see what happens so i'm gonna get this prepared to go in here okay i'm going to put the beauty blender in i'm gonna do the egg side down it's definitely clear water but let's go it is working though i feel like it is still removing even some let's take out this beauty blender for the last time squeeze it And let's put it in this makeup wipe and see what we get. 
there wasn't a lot of foundation on here to begin with so i'm not expecting to see anything near the other beauty blender this one All right it's still got some like i said i was not expecting to see anything like we saw the other one because the other one is more used. Beauty blenders are almost dry. I have them right here. This one's pretty dry. This one's a little dense still. They're still going to be a little bit bigger. But I just wanted to come on real quick and tell you guys that the sticker I had on here, I did have to take off because it got completely soaked. And I've been like scratching at it for a good like 20 minutes now. And there's still some residue on there as you can see. So if you do buy this, make sure you don't put stickers on it. They have like this sticker and maybe this one, I don't know. But I definitely didn't want to put those on, but I thought the washing machine one was cute. But it definitely just got really gross. I mean, I kind of fixed it and it looks fine, but still a little bit of a disappointment. I guess I'm going to give you my opinion on this now because the Beauty Blenders are mostly dry, like I said already. This one is definitely dry on the top it's a little wet on the bottom but this one is a little wet still or it might just be it's dense because of the foundation either way both of these beauty blenders definitely got cleaner than they were this one's definitely clean this one's permanently somewhat colored with foundation it cleaned it pretty well you know obviously there's going to be a bit of a difference usage wise but i think it did its job and cleaned the beauty blenders pretty well um and i might need to put in actual makeup remover instead of this soap but the soap worked really well I'm not impressed with the machine but i'm not not impressed i think for the drying aspect i think this is great might want to look into this for the drying aspect i think drying the beauty blenders is awesome however actually cleaning the beauty blenders is an absolute nightmare and i think it's such a nightmare because this lid doesn't actually close as you can see and if the beauty blender is too tall like say this one is too tall right now you can kind of see it poking this won't close it'll try to but the beauty blender will push it open and it just gets messy also if you fill it up too high the water gets everywhere and i just think that overall the design of it is not so great for cleanliness i don't really think there's that many positive to it besides drying unfortunately this is going to be my first buy it's just not what it says it's going to be it says it's going to dry or it's going to clean dry all of that which it cleans and it dries yes but it doesn't actually clean you know like this is still pretty heavily stained and i feel like if i take my beauty blender solid out and clean it i can clean this way better so this is going to be my first buy of this whole series um like i said if you want it for drying it it dries but just remember that you have to store it and all that kind of stuff and i don't really feel like it's adequate enough for actual cleaning so we're gonna say bye to this i might honestly use it for the drying i might like i've said a hundred times but other than that i think i'm gonna say bye if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment subscribe turn on post notifications all of that and yeah so i will see you in my next video and if you like these types of videos, let me know. I can definitely do more like random Amazon finds because I find a lot of stuff on Amazon. Love Amazon. All right, I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.